Step Into the World of Third or Something, a television series that captivated audiences in the late 1980s, exploring the complexities of adulthood, relationships, and the pursuit of personal fulfillment. As we delve into the fabric of this iconic show, have you ever wondered about the behind-the-scenes anecdotes that add layers to its narrative? Perhaps you're reminiscing about a specific scene or moment that left an indelible mark on your memory. Was there a particular episode that resonated with you, sparking reflection on your own journey through life? Share your thoughts with us below. Before we invite you to unveil your cherished memories, let's uncover some lesser-known facts about 30-something. Did you know that the show's creators drew inspiration from their own experiences, shaping the narrative with a genuine touch? As we navigate through the realms of this series, we invite you to contribute your own insights and reflections. Now, over to you, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to 30-something? We would love to hear your stories and recollections in the comments below. 30-something, a groundbreaking television series that debuted in 1987, emerged as a poignant exploration of the challenges and complexities faced by a group of friends navigating the pivotal decade of their 30s. Created by Ed Zwick and Marshall Herskovitz, the show depicted the lives of a close-knit circle delving into the intricacies of relationships, career aspirations, and the quest for identity. At the heart of the narrative were Michael Stedman and his wife, Hope, emblematic of the show's relatable characters grappling with the realities of adulthood. 30-something was distinguished by its authentic portrayal of the emotional turbulence inherent in this stage of life, resonating with a generation seeking authenticity on the small screen. The series earned acclaim for its realistic dialogue, eschewing conventional melodrama for nuanced storytelling. With its deliberate pacing and emphasis on character development, 30-something departed from traditional TV conventions, paving the way for a new era of intimate, character-driven narratives. Michael and Hope, along with their friends Melissa, Gary, Elliot, and Nancy, became emblematic figures emblematic of the era's cultural zeitgeist. Third of Something's impact on popular culture was profound, influencing subsequent shows that delved into the complexities of adulthood. Its legacy endures, having left an indelible mark on the landscape of television storytelling, capturing the essence of a generation grappling with the challenges of the 30-something journey. Ranked No. 10 in TV Guide's list of the 60 greatest dramas of all time in 2013, the 1987 series 30 Something left an enduring impact on television. This drama, created by Ed Zwick and Marshall Herskovitz, centered on a tight-knit group of friends in their 30s navigating the challenges of adulthood. Set against the backdrop of Philadelphia, the show explored the intersection of their counterculture roots from the early 1970s with the yuppie lifestyle dominating 1980s America. Notably, the real-life marriage of Ken Allen and Patricia Wedig added a layer of authenticity to the on-screen dynamics. Third of Something's recognition as one of the greatest dramas attests to its lasting influence, capturing the essence of a generation's journey through adulthood on the small screen. Timothy Busfield, aged 29 during the Third of Something pilot, sported a beard to convincingly play Elliot. This move reflected the show's commitment to portraying the challenges faced by a tight-knit group entering their 30s. The real-life dynamics like Ken Allen and Patricia Wedig's marriage added authenticity. Surpassing conventional TV norms, 30-something's deliberate pacing and character-driven narrative paved the way for a new era. Notably, producers contemplated a live episode, showcasing the series' willingness to break boundaries. In Region 4, Shock Entertainment released all four seasons in Australia, solidifying 30-somethings enduring global impact. This fact, coupled with its recognition as one of the greatest dramas, highlights the show's lasting influence on television storytelling, capturing the essence of a generation's journey through adulthood on the small screen. Ranked 19th on TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV shows of all time in 2002, the TV series 30-something made a significant impact on the cultural landscape. The show, which debuted in the late 1980s, quickly became a catchphrase for baby boomers in their 30s. The Oxford English Dictionary even added 30-something in 1993, defining it as an undetermined age between 30 and 40, specifically applied to members of the baby boom generation entering their 30s in the mid-1980s. 30-something drew inspiration from films like Return of the Secaucus 7 and The Big Chill, capturing the angst felt by baby boomers and yuppies in the changing landscape of 1980s America. 
The show reflected the evolving expectations related to masculinity and femininity during the era of second wave feminism. This recognition as one of the greatest TV shows of all time speaks volumes about 30-somethings enduring influence on television storytelling. Its portrayal of the challenges faced by a close-knit group entering their 30s coupled with the cultural resonance of the term 30-something solidifies its place in the annals of television history. The groundbreaking TV series 30-something left an indelible mark on American television. One notable episode, Strangers, featured a post-coital conversation between Russell and Peter, marking a historic moment as one of the earliest portrayals of gay male characters in a sexual context on network television. Despite no explicit content, the implied intimacy led to a loss of around $1.5 in advertising revenue, prompting ABC to pull the episode from reruns. Actor David Marshall Grant, involved in the scene, later became a successful writer and producer, contributing to shows like Brothers and Sisters and Smash with inclusive portrayals of affectionate gay couples. The series earned widespread acclaim, winning 13 Primetime Emmy Awards and two Golden Globe Awards out of 41 nominations. Its impact on television extended globally, with DVD releases in Region 2, although Season 3 faced an abrupt withdrawal in 2014 for unspecified contractual reasons. 30-something's influence resonates beyond its original airing, evident in the enduring recognition through prestigious awards and global DVD releases, marking a pivotal moment in television history. Bedford Falls Productions, the TV company co-producing the drama, 30-something, shares a connection with the classic film It's a Wonderful Life, both brought to life by Frank Capra. Interestingly, the name Bedford Falls is derived from the town in the film. 30-something's roots in such a cinematic legacy add a unique layer to its narrative. Ken Olin and Timothy Busfield, key figures in the series, later collaborated on this Is Us in roles as executive producer and director, respectively. Their continued partnership showcases a lasting professional connection beyond 30-something. Additionally, Mill Creek Entertainment's re-release of the first season on DVD provides fans with convenient access to the show's initial episodes, split into two-volume collections. This move reinforces the enduring popularity of 30-something, making it accessible to a new generation of viewers. The connections, collaborations, and continued availability of the series on DVD reflect the lasting impact of 30-something on both its audience and the entertainment industry. As we wrap up our journey through the captivating world of relationships, dreams, and the intricate dance of adulthood, I encourage you to take a moment and delve into the reservoir of memories that the 1987 TV series 30-something has stirred within you. The beauty of this series lies not just in its compelling narratives, but in the mirror it holds up to our own lives. As you reflect on the moments that struck a chord or characters that felt like old friends, consider sharing those gems with us. What's your untold story sparked by those 30-something musings? How did the series resonate with the cadence of your life? Your experiences are the brushstrokes that complete the canvas of this communal journey. Whether it's a tale of connection, a realization inspired by the characters, or a personal triumph mirroring the show's themes, your narrative adds a unique hue to the collective tapestry of 30-something. Let your voice echo through the corridors of shared nostalgia. Thank you for embarking on this retrospective expedition with us. Your time and insights are the heartbeat of our community. So, share your thoughts, unravel the layers of your personal narrative, and let the spirit of 30-something live on through the stories we tell. Crafted with creativity and warmth, 